I'm constantly fascinated with how this how this year's turned out. I mean, I think if you asked everyone what their first response was a year ago, it wasn't very optimistic, right? The interesting thing, though, is I think our industry was, in, in, not just our industry, but the construction industry on a whole in Canada was, you know, it had a great year, as hard as it was to do business. Yeah, and I, I mean, it's interesting. I think, it, you know, if you look at different metrics for what it defines success, I think sales-wise and things, people, it was a very successful year. I think that there was, you know, those sales weren't earned easily. No. Um, you know, and then, and then there was other challenges where I think, you know, if supply was available, then they could have done even better. So again, you know, you, you got to put a, put your hand out to those, you know, dealers and distributors and things who were able to still make it work because it, it's got to be hard when you have people lined up wanting things and you just can't get it. And you're trying to make them happy and get them in something else and still make the sale, right? Interesting um, thing that came out of this 2020 was, I think it really caused all of us to try and figure out, I know it did for me and I know it did for you, is figure out how to add value and support under the constraints that we all have. And and then the contractors I know had that same issue is that they had to figure out how to do business. In some cases, it actually became easier in the sense that they didn't have to have as many meetings with clients because they couldn't. They didn't have to have, you know, like how they had meetings and how they communicated became, you know, I think in the beginning was difficult, but I think it became when I'm talking to them, they're telling me that it was, you know, that part was actually easy. They didn't have, um, you know, you didn't have clients wanting as much input into stuff. They just wanted it done. And so that part was it, but getting product, I mean, all the delays we had, the borders, the trucking, the restraints you had. The plants being shut down temporarily, right? Even just to, to, to halt production and then have to ramp back up on a limited scale. And Absolutely. Well, and, and not only when they went to go ramp up, not knowing what the season was going to be like. Like you, everybody from the people that made the chemicals that make the paint to the people that are, um, you know, milling the metal and everything else, all the way down the supply chain structure. Everybody, no one wanted to be sitting on a massive amount of in inventory in a year where you can't sell it because there's no business. And there was never has there ever been a business model where it was an economic impact like COVID was. And so there's no, there's no matrix to go and say, hey, when this happens, this is what the norm is. There is no norm. And so yeah. they, they all had to take risks. I mean, it was all through our supply chain. It was it was just difficult, and it, it amazes me how through all that we had customers that still not only did they survive, but they excel. They did an amazing job. I mean, and, and that's kudos to our customers. Kudos to um, their wherewithal their ability to adapt and, and, and figure out a business model that works for them that that we're able to uh, piggyback with yeah it's amazing when people are forced with no other option what solutions they can come up with right like a lot of people are backed into a corner you, you can only operate under these conditions and they just went how are we going to do it and they they made it work and didn't and and actually grew yeah 100 percent. recently as you know um, compiling uh, a list of, of customers that, you know, we want to recognize and, and we're sending out a little treat for them um, and a thank you to them. Um, guys that just contractors and dealers and distributors that just went above and beyond. That should be arriving shortly. I think uh, um, we also have uh, the other thing we've got to uh, do, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Kitchler Cup. The Kitchler Cup. So you got the Eastern Conference and uh, yeah. it was a very competitive year considering a very challenging year, much like the uh, the NHL. Um, it was a challenging year to do <laughs> and uh, and it was a challenging year. So uh, Eastern Champion Conference, uh, uh, Eastern Conference Champion, who's the, the winner in 2020? That's uh, Creative Landscape, Debo. Holy crap. Jeremy did awesome. That That is he great. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they... Jeremy and the team. So, uh, you know, I think, he's, I think he was the one who gave me the honest answer that they had a really good year, but 
man, it was a, it was, it was a lot of more, a lot of extra work. Um, to get that sale. Uh, to get that sale. But they did a phenomenal job this year. And uh, I think they put in a lot of extra hours and ran pretty hard to, to make that happen. So we appreciate the effort from Kistler and yep. thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. So who do we have on the Western Conference? On the Western Conference, um, you know, uh, a Western Conference championship uh, champion this year or 2020 is uh, uh, Chris uh, Donahue at uh, Great Canadian Landscapes. Um, they had a phenomenal year. I mean, uh, the Vancouver market is uh, is still and, and has continued to be an incredibly hot market with uh, real estate out there. Vancouver, much like Toronto, was was shut down fairly uh, fairly extensively. And for Chris to be able to pull this off and, and do the job that he did, I got to commend him and his crew that kicked butt. So uh, he's getting the trophy this uh, year for 2020 and uh, we'll uh, go from there. So. Congratulations, Chris, and all your your, your team. Congratulations on uh, everybody that uh, did an amazing job in 2020. And from my understanding, talking to the contractors, 2021, um, it's going to be another really good year because the work's booked. You know. Yeah, and and I think you know, and I guess that would be my only two cents to people is that the biggest thing we can say is 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 order early and and have lots of product on hand because everything we see it's going to be another year with a high demand and yeah. there's lots of opportunity there. And as always, I mean, if anybody's got any issues or wants a hand or needs, needs, needs some support, we're always here. Right. So you betcha. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, have a good one. We'll talk to you later.